Campaign finance reform and ethics reform are the hot topic in Albany these days. Since two lawmakers were arrested for allegedly taking bribes, every branch of state government is coming out with some sort of plan. The governor just today unveiled a large portion of his proposal to curb corruption. Our capital correspondent, Pat Bailey, was there. He joins us now live from our Albany Bureau with the details. Hi, Pat. Well, hey, Greg, that's right. The governor today outlining a three-pronged attack to keep campaigns and elections here in New York clean. Now, the initiative was a follow-up to his call last week when he proposed new criminal penalties for those who breached the public's trust. And I got the feeling from today's announcement that it is quite clear, despite other proposals out there, the governor wants his, and preferably all of them, part of a new law that he hopes will be passed this session. This is all politically difficult. Okay. This is all very politically difficult. So. so, now the governor starts to negotiate with the leaders of the Senate and Assembly to get a campaign finance reform bill passed. Senate Dems have their own ideas, as do the Senate IDC and the Assembly Democrats. It is complicated and it is hard to unravel, but um, I think, yes, I'm cautiously optimistic that we're going to come up with a package that brings reform. Have you had conversations with the leaders? Yes. How Swimmingly. <laughs> Although lighthearted there, the governor is serious about his initiative to clean up campaigns. The most recent proposals include an independent enforcement unit at the Board of Elections, eliminating the Wilson Pakula requirements, meaning getting permission from another party head to run as a candidate on their line. The other push Cuomo is making would allow candidates and voters to change party enrollment in a, quote, timely manner. The governor also believes in using public dollars to match private donations in campaigns, and he would be unhappy with anything less. If those proposals do not become law, I will say to you, I wish those proposals had become law. Senate Republicans have been and continue to be opposed to public dollars in statewide campaigns. The Senate GOP spokesman tweeted this Tuesday, why do some politicians think the answer to recent scandals is to allow them to use your taxpayer money to finance their campaigns? Scott Reef then later tweeted, has public financing resulted in clean elections? Not in New York City, where dozens of candidates have gamed the system and ripped off taxpayers. I want public financing. Well, the governor made that quite clear today. And before he unveiled his most recent uh, plans for reform, today Assembly Democrats unveiled their push for reform. And the headline there was a proposal to use taxpayer dollars. Here's what we're talking about. They're proposing giving $6 of taxpayer money for every $1 donated privately with a maximum matching contribution of $250 per candidate who meet the requirement. Greg? All right. We do know for sure this will dominate the discussion at the Capitol in the coming days. Thank you very for much, sure. Matt.